Welcome. This will be a quick video, but I would like to show you um, some of the modifications that I've made to my Airy One, or Area. I think it's pronounced Airy, Airy One, but uh, my Airy One Thinker SE. Um, I purchased this printer about three weeks ago um, and put it together with my son, spent some time calibrating it. And, uh, and then it's been printing really well. Um, this is a very inexpensive printer. I think on sale, I wound up spending $270 all included, everything to my door, um, which is incredibly low for a printer with a 300 uh, by 300 by 400 uh, uh, build, uh, build area. Um, and as you can see, it's working really beautifully. I'll get a little bit closer here in a second, but the purpose for this video is to show you some of the modifications, and really not modifications, just additions that I've been able to make and print uh, for use on the printer itself. These are available on Thingiverse. If you go to the Facebook group, uh, which is, uh, there are several Airy One Facebook groups, but one of them is particular to uh, both design and innovation. So search for Airy One Design and Innovation and and you'll find a group where they publish uh, a document with links to different things on Thingiverse uh, for the Airy One, uh, all the Airy One printers, but the Airy One Thinker series as well. And I just want to show you a few of them because I think they've really helped uh, uh, helped uh, make the printer even better. So, first of all, and probably uh, most importantly for me, um, is I printed this roller expansion. Uh, right here. So the roller uh, for the filament spool is typically a very thin rod of metal situated right where you see the thicker one there now. This is a drop-in print that just slides right on top of the uh, the standard uh, the standard filament uh, spool rod if you will and it makes it so much smoother, so much less noise um, because it actually fits uh, the contour, at least the angular contour of filament spools uh, in general. So that was a real nice change. Uh, I printed uh, this uh, filament guide uh, that slides right onto the top of your frame. Uh, it keeps the filament from like actually what it would normally do. I'll put my finger in here, would be slide across this relatively sharp edge. Um, and this keeps it off of that as well as takes it a bit out from the frame so that it enters the Bowden tube at a much better angle overall. It keeps it at a, at a relatively stable angle, which is really nice. So that those two are, are really functional upgrades, and they look really nice too. I printed this in Prusament uh, Galaxy Black, um, so uh, but you could choose any color. I decided to stay with black for most of the frame upgrades uh, just for the sake of keeping them very understated. All right, some other, uh, let's move to some of the other uh, upgrades that I did. I'll move to the back of the printer. If, and this is on the floor because it's really stable and really level, so I like it there. <laughs> anyway, you can see the cable guide um, right there. This is also available off that same spreadsheet off the Airy One Facebook group. Um, and it keeps your primary cable uh, from the uh, from the controller of the printer uh, to uh, the extruder. It keeps it in a way that it never gets in the way of the bed. You can see where the bed's moving and where that is. And uh, it also keeps it from being jerked around as a result of the print, as the print continues to go uh, higher on the Z axis. So really enjoy that. If you'll notice on the other side, I printed another one of those printer guides, or excuse me, uh, cable guides, and I put it on the, uh, the Y axis cable there. So. Uh, on the heater control cable. So that uh, was a really nice upgrade in the sense that it's functional, keeps the cables in a good place, um, and out of the way of the printing mechanism. Another very functional upgrade that I printed was, and you'll get to see it in motion, this will get us closer to the print here, is the fan shroud uh, on the bottom of the hot end of the extruder assembly. So this is much better than the stock uh, fan director, which very interestingly directs the fan uh, exhaust kind of down at the build plate instead of across the hot and or the, the, the nozzle. So this does a really nice job. Uh, this upgrade does a really nice, nice job of kind of circling around 
the nozzle and directing the exhaust uh, to, to multiple, an or, you know, on multiple angles and multiple axes towards the extruder nozzle and it just works better. I've been able to actually uh, tweak my temperature through temperature towers and it's just doing better overall uh, as a result of getting better cooling to the, to the nozzle. Uh, while I'm here, you can see that the print, uh, this is a massive print, it's going to be going on for at least another day or two, um, but uh, it looks really nice. Um, this is just an example of some of the results you can get from Area 1 uh, Thinker, as long as you calibrate, uh, go through a good calibration series once you get it, make sure things are working correctly, um, and you'll have a good time. All right, last but not least, less, probably the least, quote, functional, but it does, like, cut down on noise a bit is I printed a fan duct uh, or a fan shroud for the power supply. Looks really nice. It has the Area 1 logo, but it's done by, a, by somebody on Thingiverse. And again, you'll be able to find that link on uh, the Facebook group's uh, spreadsheet that they provide there. Uh, this actually directs the fan exhaust uh, aft as well as kind of lowers by several dB the, the, the noise of the power supply fan. As you can tell, it's an overall very uh, overall. This is a very quiet printer, and uh, this it just makes it even more quiet in this particular space. So hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, just some ideas of what you can do with your Airy One Thinker, uh, with just a little bit of time and a few prints, uh, that can kind of start to spruce up uh, some of the things, uh, some of the stock solutions to make them just a little bit better. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you got questions, send them to me. I'll try to tell you. I try to remember my settings. I think I have most of the uh, of the G code files still available as well. Take care. See you next time.